Hello everybody and welcome to D Skull Gaming. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different from my previous videos for a couple of reasons. First, it's not really going to be a gameplay real specific video. It's I'm going to have some gameplay in the background, but this is more of a discussion video. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I didn't have a topic until now. And secondly... This is going to be completely unscripted. This is going to be just me talking and just, you know, saying stuff and just, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to try to articulate my thoughts as best I can. Alright, so let's get down to it. Uh, if you read the title of the video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Does For Honor need new heroes? The reason I'm asking this is because I saw Infinite's video where he recaps uh, the Warrior's Den, and uh, long story short, just to kind of recap his uh, recap, uh, so to speak, is, um, well, he basically stated that we're not going to get as many reworks as we got in Season 5, nor are we getting any new heroes or any new maps for 4v4. Now, I'm not particularly excited about the lack of reworks or the la and the lack of 4v4s, but just to be kind of clear, they were the devs were a bit vague about it. They said that maybe we won't get as many hero I mean, as many hero reworks as season five. So, you know, fingers crossed there. But um, the the thing that I want to talk about is that in the comments below his video, there were multiple people who were complaining over the lack of new heroes, and that that doesn't make any sense to me. Like I I just I, to me these were just ludicrous uh, comments that in my opinion had very. It just seemed like these guys had not been around for 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 honor during its first year it, it really does feel like they just kind of saw oh we're not getting new heroes and just started complaining for no reason at all they would even go so far as to say that for honor is gonna die if we don't get any new heroes and okay first of all we've been dealing with the for honor is dead meme since since season one we've been dealing with it since season one and just to be completely honest with you <sighs> For Honor is like fucking Jason Voorhees. It's it's not gonna die. It's not gonna die anytime soon. If it survived year one, I highly doubt that the lack of new heroes is going to impact it negatively. If anything, I believe the opposite. I from I believe the new heroes will ultimately fuck the game over worse than if they that than if they weren't to add any new heroes. The reason I say this is because, again, I was around all throughout season one. I mean, I mean year one, and I remember vividly the 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 the, the nightmare that was Centurion Ganks. I remember it, even if I personally never considered Centurion a pain in the ass in one v ones. He was a nightmare to go up against. If there was more than one Centurion. In, in the opposing team, I was terrified. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, time to put the controller down and just uh, let, uh, let shit happen. Let's forget about it. And, of course, we can't forget fucking Shaman. Like, you, uh, come on. <laughs> like, it, that was only season four. That wasn't too long ago that we were dealing with the pest that was Shaman pre-nerf. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, and that's really one of the main reasons why I don't believe that new heroes are a necessity in For Honor. Because more heroes just means more problems. It means more potential bugs. And on top of that, the devs have to basically... Even if they test the characters out to make sure that they are not glitchy and they don't have any... Uh, any insane fucking tracking like Shaman's Bite did, even if they do that, they still have to hope that the characters mesh well with the current meta, well, with the current characters that we have right now. Like, come on. It, it, it's, 
I remember when Centurion was uh, hyped up. I don't remember if it was the devs who hyped this up or if it was the fans who hyped this up. But people kept saying that Centurion was going to be the turtle meta breaker. And I think some people even said the same thing about Gladiator. Because these were two characters that could easily open up turtles. But the fact is that a single character cannot open cannot break the meta just like that. The meta is established by the entirety of the roster and the game mechanics in the game. Like, the, there's no way that a single character would be able to do that. So the idea that we need new characters to spice things up and change things, that doesn't make any sense. On top of this, they, they kept saying things like, oh, we need to hype up the next season which, in my opinion, makes no sense either, because there were no new heroes in Season 5, and if I'm not mistaken, there were no new maps either, just reworks of maps for specific game modes, like Tower Ruin and Tribute. And yet, Season 5 was probably the most hype season yet. So, I really don't understand what, what these guys, where these guys are coming from. Okay, yes, season the hype of Season 5 died down, but, I mean... That's mostly because people had this idea that the new parry changes and the new reworks are somehow going to were somehow going to magically fix everything, or whatever. I I don't I honestly don't see the big uh, the big deal. They gave us exactly what they promised us, and that was it. Like they didn't lie, and they're still delivering in on their promises, as far as I can tell. I, if I'm not mistaken, lag compensation will be coming in the next patch, so. If anything, this kind of shows that at the very least the devs are learning from their previous mistakes. I can remember vividly in year one how myself and I, I remember a lot, uh, several other people in Reddit saying, please devs, don't give us new heroes, just chill the fuck out and fix the game. Because the truth is that hype doesn't matter, hype means nothing. Hyping up For Honor with its issues and hoping that people somehow stay is like putting a new coat of paint on the Amityville house and hoping that the house will not haunt or try to kill whoever moves in. Like, come on. I, I, <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a weird analogy, but the point is that For Honor had so many issues plaguing its plaguing its first year, and it wasn't just Centurion, it wasn't just Shaman, it was bugs, it was terrible matchmaking, it was disconnects, it was so many things, and I love For Honor, faults and all, I stay, I stood by this game through, the, through its first year, and I'm still gonna stand by it, I'm still gonna stand by the game, because I enjoy the crap out of it, but I'd be an idiot to ask the devs to give us new heroes, when right now they're working on fixing the issues. This is what we wanted. We wanted better balancing amongst the heroes. We wanted lag compensation. We wanted a change to the turtle, something that would actually affect the turtle meta, not just one character that will do absolutely fucking lutely nothing. Now, this isn't to say that I don't ever want to see new heroes in For Honor, but really think about it. Right now, the, I mean, For Honor has always had a balancing issue, and truth be told, a lot of games, a lot of fighting games have balancing issues, and balancing is not something that can be perfected in any way, but just because it cannot be perfected doesn't mean For Honor should just, we should just be complacent with For Honor and say, no, don't even try. No, that's stupid. The balancing could be improved immensely, and we don't just have to consider balancing for 1v1s, we also have to consider balancing in 4v4 game modes. How do you balance that? This, this is what makes For Honor such a difficult game to talk about when it comes to balancing. How do you take away a character's power in one department without nerfing it completely in this other style of gameplay? It's difficult. It, it is a difficult task, and that's why... I don't like the idea of new heroes, at least not right now. 
yes, I want new things in, the, in in For Honor. I want new events. I want more game modes. I want more maps. I want to, you know, be able to walk around in like a Viking forest or something and just look at all the marvelous detail uh, surrounding them uh, in the in the map. It's one of the reasons why I fucking love Viking Village. I think it's easily the best map in the entirety of For Honor. However. New heroes, I don't think, will add anything to the game except more problems. Because, on top of wanting to balance out the current heroes that we have, adding new heroes, like I said, means more potential bugs, more potential problems within the balancing. So, I'm happy that, at the very least, Ubisoft is learning from its mistakes. It's not giving us new heroes just for the sake of it. It's actually focusing on... You know, it's actually focusing on what the game needs. And just to reiterate my point about how new heroes will not bring any new players or old players back, really think about Centurion. Really think about how many people actually left because of the Centurion gangs. And then Shaman, think about how many people just decided to say, fuck it, I'm done with this game once Shaman was introduced. Now, the plus side is that unlike Centurion, Shaman was nerfed fairly quickly. She was looked at and they were and the devs were like, well, shit, uh, this bitch is uh, just a teensy bit broken. Let's uh, fix her up a little bit. And I'm, I actually feel Shaman is a lot easier to deal with now. She's still a pain in the fucking neck, but... Um, she, but at the very least, she's much more manageable and less glitchy than she was in the previous seat than she was when she started. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that For Honor needs new heroes? Like I said, I personally don't think it needs new heroes right now. Maybe new maps, maybe new game modes, but certainly not new heroes. Let's just, you know, focus on what we have, try to improve what we have rather than looking for something new. But anyways, I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you guys think we need new heroes? At least in Season 6? Do, do you guys think we need new heroes in Season 6? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, this has been d -Skull, And I'll see you guys next time.